Right, welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different, a little bit crazy. This is our sweet jar. I'm not going to show you the inside of the jar at the moment, but this is our sweet jar, and this is what always gets left. I don't mind these sweets, to be honest, but no one else in the air seems to like them. These. Per Palmer Violets. Palmer Violets. Let's get them out. I thought it was called purple something, but they are purple. Palmer Violets. These always seem to get left in the sweets. Look. I've got all them packs of Palmer Violets. And what I thought, in my tiny little mind, what I thought was, you know if you melt sugar in a pan, it turns to like caramel. In my head, these are just sugar. I, I ain't Googled this. I don't know if this works. In my head, these are just, these Palmer Violets are just sugar. Let's see what it says. Oh, I can't see that. It's the tiniest white in it. Basically says there's no artificial colouring. What I was thinking, I'm going to grind these down. Then I'm going to put them in a saucepan or a frying pan or something and see if I can make some sort of crazy purple caramel. So we go. All the packets open. They're all in there. They're all the Palmer Violets I've got. I'm going to crush these up. Then I'm going to place them in this frying pan. This is what I'm hoping to do. Crush these up. Place them in here. This is a never stick. It's not a no stick. This is a never stick. I'm going to put them in here. Hopefully not ruin this pan because the wife will go mental. And then hopefully I'm going to make a sort of caramel and pour them onto this tracing paper I have here. And this is a pestle and mortar homemade. So got it in a glass jar. Anything could happen here. And I'm going to basically just crush all these up. This is going to take me about four hours. I'm surprised how well it worked. That is basically, there's a few bits of shrapnel, but that is basically Palmer Violet dust. So here we are over at the oven. Look at this. It's all good to film here because this oven is absolutely massive. As we've gone for the Palmer Violets, I think they're called, aren't they? I've pulled out the old classic, our oh, White's Lemonade. As we're in that era and that period, I've got my coat on. You might notice it's half past 11 at night, but I'm waiting for a phone call. I might have to dash out. It's all good standing like this. I've got a neck ache already. And now here we are over at the oven. What we're going to do, I'm going to turn the higher burner on. This higher burner on this super industrial oven has got two flames that come out of it. And I'm just going to whack it on and we're going to see what happens. This is the best angle I can do. It's a jaw burner. Have you got a jaw burner, Vince? No. So we're going to put that on like that. Oh, oh, oh. Which, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to wait for it to warm up or what. Or I'm just going to pour it in. I don't know what spatula to use. I don't know nothing. I oh, know what spatula am I going to use. Um, I'm going to go for this. It feels like silicon. It says mum's bakes are best. I will probably ruin this. Let's put this in. The Palmer Violet dust is going in. Nothing is happening at the moment. It, it has stuck to the bottom though. I will say it has stuck to the bottom already. Oh, it's melting. We're getting a bit of liquid already. I don't think that was liquid. I think I'm just seeing things. I'm going to ruin all this pan. This is also a good test for this never stick pan. This is what I'm seeing at the moment. I think I'm just going to burn it, ain't I? I don't think it's going to melt. Do you think I need to put a little bit of water in it? Does water need to go in it? I don't know. I should have, you know what? I should have looked up how to make caramel. If I looked up how to make caramel... Ah, oh, shit. It's not sticking, though. It's actually not sticking. But it's smelling like it's burning. I could have messed up here. This video, I think it's just going to burn it. I think I might have to just put some water in it. Do you reckon water? Or milk? Water or milk? Oh no, hold on. We're getting a bit of a sticky substance going on. Let's give it a little bit longer. Look, he's sticking to that, the boy. You know what it smells like? It smells like popcorn. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, there's liquid. There is liquid forming. Look at this. There is a liquid. There is a liquid forming there. You know what? This might just work. Yep, there's definitely a liquid going on. You can see the liquid. Look. It's all disintegrating basically into nothing. Oh, here we go, here we go. Look, it's only worked. 
Yep, yeah, we've got caramel. We've got caramel. I might take this off the pan here. I'm going to take this off the pan and move this over. Them bits that ain't. That's going over. That's going over. We are off. We are off. Let's put this here. That's quite a good angle. Look at this. Palmer violet caramel. It's actually worked. Vincent, are you watching this? Look at that. You don't get much for your money. And that stink. I don't know where to put that. Is that the burn side? Palm violet. Caramel, look. Let's move that tan so you can see the goodness. Let's turn this off. What they do, they normally they normally go over it, don't they? This like the sort of thing. Hey, did he? That's caramel. That, my friends, is caramel. Look at that. It worked. That right there is palm and violet caramel. The first time this has ever been made. Look at that. We are going to taste it. We're going to turn this camera around and we're going to do some taste testing of this palm and violet caramel. That's actually caramel. Look. Look at that. Sometimes I impress myself. So here we are, back in the, the usual position. Um, first of all, I'm surprised it worked. I thought in my head that these are sweets are just sugar. I thought that in my head. I, I thought that. I didn't look this up anywhere or nothing. But right, it's, going, it's, it's going harder now. This is what I was waiting for. I thought if that's sugar, people just make sugar caramel by just putting sugar in the pan. I thought, I can't remember. I'm, I wasn't sure I thought we might have had water, but I don't know. But it worked. It's hot. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. You know sometimes you do things in life and you you impress yourself. I've only gone and done that. Look at this. That is about nine packs of palmer violets. And I've just tasted a bit. The caramel tastes like palmer violet caramel. This is just gonna peel off on this tracing paper. This is my greatest ever achievement in life. It's just like a, it's like a hard caramel. Look at the texture and the density. It tastes like a crunchy caramel you would buy, but it's got that hint and that flavor flavor of Palmer violets. I'm not just making it up because I made this. That tastes nice. On the next video, I might do love hearts, love heart caramel, because it's going to work. It's going to work if this did. If you like this video, then please think about it, or at least consider subscribing, because you never know what me and Vincent are up to next. We've got some good stuff coming soon. And if you love caramel, and you love palm violets, palmer violets even, these things, that I've probably said the word wrong the whole video. If you love caramel, if you love these, you're going to love this. If you like this chair. If you like this chair. So here we are over at the oven. I sound like David Bellamy doing a sketch show.